important call uh, right now that we have to take. And we're going to get to that right now. And good morning and welcome back. Uh, we are actually uh, talking to some anonymous viewers about the weather. And uh, we have a call that's coming in. Hello? Go ahead with your call. Um, I uh, just uh, wanted to say that uh, from the other report that I heard uh, a few minutes ago, I really thought it was very informational. Um, I'm not going to really uh, identify myself because uh, I wanted my identity, uh, my identity uh, confidential. No, 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 you're okay, you're okay. Go ahead and tell us your story. Go ahead. Um, what I was just saying is that I also agree with uh, what the other uh, viewer had said earlier um, in the other presentation, and I also think that, especially in the Midwest, that you do have to be prepared for any kind of weather. It doesn't matter if it's snow or whatever the case may be. Um, you have to be prepared. Um, I mean... There have been uh, reasonable doubts that uh, if there's a severe storm such as a tornado or a severe thunderstorm, uh, there's actually been cases where the sirens uh, do not go off, um, you know, at times, and some people anonymously don't even know what kind of situation uh, has happened, like... In Rochester Hills, Michigan, uh, they had a tornado, and it was on a Sunday. I would briefly have to go back and review that uh, story, however, um, but they had no indication of what was going on. They just said that they heard uh, a lot of wind, and it was like a flight train, and that's what you hear if there's a tornado and uh, they didn't really have enough time to get to safety. Uh, sirens didn't even go off, but there were no uh, injuries or anything like that. Thank God for that. But there was a lot of devastation, and it was actually in a um, uh, subdivision. So, uh, and there was actually a time where our maid of Michigan had it, and they didn't even know about it, and I can't remember when that was, but they got a lot of golf ball size hail, um, and that uh, tornado was actually being sighted from Oakland County, but I can't remember what year uh, that was. So if there's not really a warning or watch that's issued, you still need to watch for threatening weather at all times, and um, if the weather is threatening and there isn't a warning or watch issued, because sometimes we can't always uh, issue it on time or if the storm is actually approaching uh, that in particular state in the Midwest, give us as much information as possible. Let us know the location that you're in. Let us know the county that you're in so we can get right on it. Uh, the more information that we get, the better off we are. Um, like I said, the technology is getting better every year. Um, we're, I, I think basically, uh, just to end this, giving people an advance warning is actually a good idea because then that gives them more of a... Uh, informational background of how to prepare for a storm and be ready to take action immediately and know what to do in that type of, of an emergency. The same thing if there was a snowstorm, because uh, like always, uh, you never know what the weather is going to do and it has been a very active uh, season for severe weather according from uh, other speculations of what I heard, and also um, the tornadoes uh, that we've seen this year, 
uh, in September or whatever it was. Uh, I have to go back and look at it, and obviously I'm not going to identify my name or anything like that, uh, just for confidentiality, but, uh, like I said, uh, um, even if you don't know what kind of weather situation it is, you still have to be prepared. So if you don't know what kind of weather information you need to let us know, contact the news media ASAP, let them know what's going on so they can actually go to the next step and figure out what needs to happen. Even if it was in southeast lower Michigan, we've had incidents where people have actually uh, called, like the National Weather Service, giving them false information, uh, saying that this happened, blah, 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 and that's not what we want. We have to have the exact information, important phone calls, because if we get false information, then we could be taking up more time when there could be more of an emergency type of situation and there's some type of other uh, severe weather event going on in the same state over and over again or let's say it's like multiple tornadoes or supercell thunderstorms, whatever you want to call it, that's the kind of action that we're looking for. So like always, don't be making false phone calls to the National Weather Service. Only make phone calls to like the news media, the National Weather Service, whatever state that you live in, and give them the most accurate information because we cannot go by uh, false information because uh, we've had incidents where that's happened before and then we look at our models and our information to see exactly if any of that stuff is hit and then we just tell the callers that this is what our this is what our computers are saying. So, uh, like always, they'll tell you to kind of watch it and go from there. So, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. So, hopefully the viewers understand that. And uh, I don't mean to take up most of your time, but uh, thank you very much. And uh, uh, if there's any other way that I can help, I will most definitely let you guys know. Um... So, uh, probably won't be doing any, uh, weather forecasting probably for the next couple of weeks because I have to do some other, uh, personal business that I have to attend to, so I probably won't be, uh, back live until sometime at the end of January or February because, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. things are tied up right now because mm -hmm. we got a lot of stuff going on. Mm -hmm. So, um, that's all I wanted to say. Um, and I thought the other uh, presentation was very informational as well. So, uh, you know, just give us the accurate information. That's all we're asking for. Don't give us false information because if it's false, uh, call and we receive uh, that kind of a phone call and it's false and it's not accurate information, then uh, we're going by what the caller is saying and then we look it up and it, it's saying something different. So we don't know whether or not if it's accurate information or not. So like I say, kind of use precaution on that and uh, find out from uh, your local officials, they'll be able to tell you whether or not if it is yes or no, or uh, communicate uh, with uh, your community to find out or sign up and become a severe weather spotter, and then you would be able to monitor the storms and keep an eye on it, and if you happen to see anything threatening, uh, make sure that you guide us and let, let us know what you see. Uh, so, uh, thank you. And we want to thank that viewer
uh, for their report that was very informational. We'll make sure that we live stream that as well and we really appreciate it uh, for all the viewers and we just want to let you know that the numbers continue to rise. We've already had like at least uh, 1,063 viewers from all of our weather uh, videos and all we can say is thank you, God bless. Please uh, stay tuned to us and uh, we'll have another report on the weather uh, sometime later on this afternoon. Okay? Have a nice day and we'll see you at 12 o'clock this afternoon. And we'll continue to track that storm uh, in the Midwest. Have a nice day.